Hey, what's up everyone? It's Duke here at Developer Inspirus. Today in this daily challenge, I want to show you very quickly how to create scrollable content view with UI scroll view in iOS with Swift, okay? So this is our starter project and you can go down the link below and follow the link and download the starter project with this one. So this is the album cover for this course which is how to use the most popular UI controls in your iOS. And today I want to show you how to use UI scroll view. And here is the app will look like after this video. It's very quickly, you have a very, very, very large image and you want to put it into a scroll view so that you can scroll it like that, okay? More advanced feature of scroll view, maybe you can uh, use two fingers to pinch the content but maybe we will cover that in the next video also, okay? So let's open up the starter project and create this one. So I will go to the view controllers and in the view controllers, I will have an image view, right? So I will declare a var image view, which is UI image view like that. And then I will have a scroll view as a property of this var scroll view which is UI's scroll view, like that, okay? And then maybe we will want to grab an image out of the our starter project. Let's say I have the core graphics image. It is a very, very large image. It is way more uh, density than the iPhone um, covers, the iPhone density, the, the screen. Or maybe I will use this one instead of the core graphics. So I will do the view controllers and I will have a var image, which is equals UI image named. And then I will use the name, which is course covers. Course cover like that. Okay. All right. So another way you can use an, this project as a kind of like a plugin project, because maybe you want to download some image of the internet with some URL. And so you will do some fetching with this image and you will have this image in and then it will automatically set the image into the scroll view. So it is a plugin, um, just plug in this view controllers and you can have an image view controller, okay? And then, so let's go to the view did load and then we will do image view equals UI image view. I want to inst instantiate this image view and then with the image of the image, okay? And maybe I will do self.image so that it is more clear to you what is this image. And then, well, and then next I will do a scroll view. I will instantiate the scroll view equals UI scroll view. And then I will have the frame. Well, what is the frame of this? It will be the bounds of the view, right? View.bounds like that. So I want the frame of this scroll view to be the entire screen. So it will be view.bound. Next, I want to have the content size of the scroll view will be the size of the image itself. So what is the size of the image? It will be the image view.bounds.size and the scroll view dot content size will be image view dot bound dot size just like that and then the next thing we want to do is just add this scroll view as a sub view of the image view so i would do view dot add sub view scroll view like that and then i will run this see very quickly we'll have this one as a scroll view with the contents to be the image but we don't see the image so let's figure out why okay what happened was I have this image view and I set it with this image. And what I should do is I will ungrab this image, okay? And then I set the frame of this scroll view with the initializer of the UI scroll view. And then I set the content size and then I add the scroll view as a sub view of the view. But what happened was I never, I never add this image view into the scroll view. That's why nothing happened but the content size is still changed. So I would do scroll view dot add sub view. 
and the sub view of this image view will be UI of this image view, okay, like that. And now let's run this, and hopefully we'll see the image. Okay, we have uncropping a nil. Maybe of this, I will have to specify the type. Okay, so we see that we have this image, very large. It is quite a large image, and we can scroll the image like this, and we see the whole thing. Okay. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below, and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirus.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.